Hey folks, welcome back to my stream. I'm Jay and uh, we're here in Windows 3.1, high resolution Windows 3.1. We're at 1024 by 768, I think. Um, which isn't really something I was able to do back then with the monitor that I had, I believe. But um, yeah. We're going to play some Windows 3.11 stuff um, because, you know, I've been kind of messing around with that stuff lately. I was listening to a podcast that I like to listen to, which was sort of about, um, or that one specific episode was about sort of the history of Windows. So Windows 1, 2 and 3, essentially, before Windows 95. And, uh, you know... Windows Windows 3.1 was not really a game platform all that much, but um, there were some games for it. So uh, games didn't really make the jump to Windows until Windows 95. Like playing games or making games for Windows 3.1 was kind of a hassle and not many folks did it, although there are a bunch. Um, but you know, I had Windows 3.1 11 and um, I played games on it as you do so uh, yeah today what we're gonna play is Castle of the Winds so let's go ahead and start it Castle of the Winds is a shareware product by Sada Soft 1993 and it is published by none other than Epic Mega Games so this is a shareware game a shareware roguelike which is um, yeah, it's a commercial roguelike from 1993, which is kind of interesting. And it was published by none other than Epic, the makers of Fortnite and the Unreal Engine. And uh, yeah, they brought out a lot of... They had sort of a selection of Windows 3.11 games. Um, there were some adventures made by one Cliff Blazinski, for example. Dare to Dream and a few others. But uh, yeah, this is Castle of the Winds. This is, I think, the first roguelike I've ever played. So um, yeah, I think so. This must, this must have been before I played NetHack and the like. So that's kind of interesting. We're not going to have a lot of sound here, but that's how it goes. We're going to start a new game. With, um, there's again, as you could have seen, there's Castle 1 and Castle 2. Castle 1 is the shareware part, and Castle 2 is the essentially the registered version. And I think Castle 2 is sort of the largest part of it. But we're going to play Castle 1 here, and uh, we're going to create a new character. Should I name it after myself? Let's name it after myself. So we're going to be J. Um, and there's a difficulty setting here. We're going to stick to intermediate. I haven't played this in a long time. There is actually video on the channel of on, on the YouTube channel of me playing this game, but um, yeah, that's that's some time ago, and uh, haven't really done much with it. So this is actually a game I might tr want to try to win at some point, especially because it is my first roguelike and it's fun. Um. The thing is, this is kind of, it's kind of, the game does not enforce permadeath, essentially. The game does not enforce permadeath, which is kind of strange, right? You can save your game and load your game. So they were kind of, uh, I, it might be on the higher difficulties that, you, that the game enforces permadeath. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So we have, we can play as a, a man or lady, you know, like, you know, things are rather binary in this game. Um, I do like the icons, <laughs> they're pretty fun. I, we're gonna play as sort of the half naked dude here because that's fun. You can pick a custom character icon, but I don't really have any icons at my at the ready right now, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be Jay. Um, I'm going to skill. On intelligence yeah a bit of constitution and dexterity um, if I remember correctly magic is sort of the way to go in this game and we're going to start with magic arrow to have a magic attack and here we go we are in this wonderful paint brushed quite literally uh, 
Shrine of Odin. So here we can remove curse or rune of return. Hmm. Which we, I think we can have. How can I? So we have 1500 pieces of copper. Okay. Um, with 1500 pieces of copper, we have a small pack and a normal dagger. That's everything that we have. We're basically naked, as you can see. And um, yeah, this is the town. So we can buy a bunch of stuff here. I, rem I think it doesn't really pay off to start by buying a bunch of things. So what do we have here? Different potions, scrolls, wool cloak, enchanted cape of protection. That's kind of nice. Cost 2600. We don't have that yet. Um, I think this is a place where we can store things because we have a limited inventory. We have a limited inventory both in weight and in bulk. So, as you can see, this has a weight of 500 and a bulk of 500. And uh, that's actually kind of an interesting system that I don't see many games actually do. But um, yeah. So we have weight and bulk, so you can have very bulky things that don't weigh much, but at some point you're overbulked. You can be overburdened and overbulked, I guess. So, here we go. This is the town, um, and the door to the farm is locked, and the door to that farm is also locked. So we're going to go north. Uh, we're at some kind of crossing here. Yeah, you gaze once more at the charred ruins of the farm where you were raised. You buried the blackened skeletons of your godparents in the remains of the garden they loved. It's essentially um, Star Wars, right? You can't bury the anger which still seethes at the thought of how they died. Grimly, you vow that nothing will prevent you from avenging their deaths. The marauders pillaged the farm quite thoroughly. Nowhere in the ruins can you find the amulet left for you by your true father, whose dying words whispered to your grandfather were supposedly of its importance to you. How it could lead you to your fortune and great glory, but only if you proved your worth. Your godparents had promised it to you for your 18th birthday. Now you have neither got parents nor birthright, so it's the amulet of Yendor essentially that we we need to find. But we had it, and it was stolen from us and killed our parents, godparents. Confused trail of footprints leading north toward the mountains seem much too large to have come from the boots of bandits or soldiers. Where might the amulet be now? To whom must you prove yourself, and how? Yes, indeed. So now we have to walk towards the mountains, which are here, in all its sort of, in all its glory. Hey, Sid Treefish, hi. It was my first roguelike as well. The shower game. I did win the shower version before. I've never won the registered version. I've never really played the registered version much. Um, I kind of intend to do that. Uh, but we're going to start with the shower version here. I believe the registered one is a much larger game than the the shower part, even though it's Castle of the Winds 1 and 2, essentially. But it's essentially two parts of the same thing. And uh, here we go. So, there's a few rats that we can magic arrow. I believe this first dungeon here is not... This first dungeon level is not... Um, oops, there's a guy. What is that? A hobgoblin? No, it's a goblin, not a hobgoblin. Not of the hob variety. Uh, let's pick up some pieces of copper. I think money weighs... Money has weight in this, right? So this is a bit heavier now. Right, yeah. So uh, one piece of copper has a weight of one and a bulk. So, uh, and a bulk of one, so we can't actually can't carry infinite riches, which is kind of interesting. Can be kind of a hassle, but it's also kind of interesting. Cobalt is dead, and we get our first leather armor. I think you always find the suit of leather armor here, and uh, we're going to put it on. Even though we're mostly a magic user, 
We're magic arrowing everything. But yeah. So. With three mana left. And then we have to... I think it's in the verbs, right? Yeah. We can sleep until mana is restored. Which we're going to do. Now we're going to go downstairs. Um, okay. How do I go downstairs? Oh, cracky. That might be an issue. Ah, here we go. All right. Oh, that was a teleporter trap. And now we are somewhere. I don't know where. It's probably... Yeah, it is on the same level. So we're okay. Kill the goblin. Oops. I got bitten. Oh, I have one health left. And I'm dead. Okay, that's my first death. That's fine. Killed by a giant red ant. Um, it's going to go quicker now. We're going to play... <laughs> Jade. Uh, we're going to be Jeff now. And uh, I'm going to play again. Yeah, that was unlucky. The red ant... We might not have wanted to be in melee immediately with that. Um, okay. We're not going to do much here. We're just going to go in again. It's fine. We don't need to worry. So this goes a bit quicker. We're going to do the thing again. As I said, the first level is fixed. So we're just going to do that. Oops. I'm going to put on this. There's a game where you actually have to use the mouse. Um, do I have a... No. Oh, we do have a map, though. Um... It's been a while since I played this. So yeah, this is our spell book. We only have one spell right now. Customize spell alt alt zero. Is that how you no? No. Uh, I don't know. We might be able to do hotkeys, but I'm gonna have to use the mouse anyways, so whatever. We're going to get used to it. Giant rat is dead. Oh, there's another giant rat. Was that the case before? I think so. All right. But yeah, it's always sort of this three-pronged level. And then you get into the proper mines, which is... Uh, oh, hey. Goblin. Goblin. Kill the goblin. Get some more copper this time. Uh, we're going to sleep, and then we're going to go into the dungeon proper. Sleep until mana is restored, and uh, let's go down. So, is it this? Yes, it is. See, we can al already find a bunch of stuff. You fell into a pit, Jesus Christ. Let's go. There's a cloak, and there's a bat. I think all of this stuff is uh, basically destroyed. Rusty braces, broken boots, and a ripped cloak, so we don't need that. This stuff might, by the way, be unidentified. Uh, now it's a wool cloak, right? So once we put it on, we know what it is. This could have been cursed or something, so uh, I think we kind of need to be careful about this stuff. I'm slowly remembering how this works. Okay, all right. We're going to have to rest, actually. Can I? Sorry, it's uh, it's the old keyboard problem. So this goes down, and this goes up. Okay, I see. So I have a different keyboard layout than Windows. My emulated Windows has, so it's a bit weird. Um, so let's sleep, rest, and we're gonna go ahead. We're going to slowly make our way forwards, as often with roguelikes. This is probably the most precarious phase. Of Goblin is dead, that's good. There's, is that a jackal or something? No, a wild dog. No jackal for us. And uh, examine, broken belt, that's a small iron shield. We're going to use that. It seems to be okay. Pretty bulky. And also kind of weighty. But for now we're okay. Is there a hunger mechanic? I don't believe this has a hunger mechanic. I don't believe this has a food clock. Which is interesting, right? Um, oops, no. 
sleep until mana is restored. Yeah, this does not have a food clock. It does have a time progression mechanic. I'm not sure if that actually does anything. I don't remember that. Okay, we have... I do want to kind of search here. Yeah, we're not going to progress into the next level just yet. So let's zap some reds. Because we do want to find some more stuff here. Uh, some gauntlets here. I'm just going to risk it. We're just going to put this stuff on. Normal gauntlets. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's sleep. So we don't actually need to hurry. Maybe. Or maybe we do. Okay, so there's a potion. And 160 pieces of copper. Any door here? No. Yeah, this is very happy with the secret doors. Yeah, so there's another one. Always wanna wanna search stuff, huh? Okay, let's zap. Boom. <laughs> I do love the graphics of this. This looks so good. Let's kill the snake and we are leveled up. Um let me see. Phase door might be good. Shield light detect objects and heal minor wounds. Um Light might be good. Hmm, I don't know. I think the, the attack spell is kind of the important one. Yeah, right. I think we're gonna get... Um, the game is kind of loose compared to a lot of other roguelikes, so I think uh, we will learn an identify spell <laughs> at some point, so which kind of nixes that. Phase door, detect objects. A bunch of them that might be useful. Light. Let's get heal minor wounds. Let's start with the basics. Boots, copper. Although heal minor wounds might not be that important, but uh, okay. Normal leather boots. That's a potion. Don't know much more about that. Oh, here we go. Some stuff here. Zap. Goblin is dead. Murder the skeleton. We have a lot more mana now, which is good. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Um, yeah. Six, oh, that's Viper. To be careful not to get poisoned. I think we are poisoned. Shit. Yeah. I hope poison wears off in this after a while. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. Oop, there's a zombie. I think zombies are pretty slow. Yes, they are. So, walking corpse. It's destroyed, and we definitely have to sleep now. The poison did wear off, but we were interrupted by another snake. Oh, well, we were interrupted by a hobgoblin. No, goblin fighter. Which is okay. As long as we don't get caught with our pants down. Yeah. Oh shit, that's a red ant. But we have leveled up. Okay, and it's quick as well. Okay, here we go. Come on, sleep. Uh, maybe we need to rest somewhere else. But at some point, that's not something we can do. Huh? So it does spawn in new enemies, huh? Maybe we shouldn't rest in the brightly lit room. Nope, there's a viper. Here we go. Now we rest it up. Yeah, you're right. Not very, not not quite a clothing kind of person. Okay, there's a bunch of folks here. Let's step into the lit room and let's rest for not rest. Wait for a bit. How did you get here so quickly? I don't quite know how that worked. Okay, now we got light phase door. Hmm. Take objects. 
light might actually be good for some... I think this just enables us to turn any room into a bright room. I'm not sure, I don't remember which spells are useful and which aren't, but... We're gonna see. At some point we're gonna get the next level of spells, I believe. That's kind of how that works. Zap. Okay. Slept. And done. Anything here? No. Anything here? Can we go back? No. Alright. Yeah, it has the classic rogue thing, where not all rooms are lit. I remember this was kind of the thing with this game, with magic, you can kind of just... remove a bunch of mechanics from the game. Which is a bit weird, but... well... Whatever, right? Okay, and walking corpse is destroyed. This enables us to go back. Now we're poisoned again. Okay. Sleep until mana is recovered. Here we... No, there's a rat. I think there was also a skeleton. Yeah. Well, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna do a whole lot of fighting again. Can I actually see about experience? Ah, yeah. 127, next level at 200. Okay. You know, this is actually not that bad. I don't know if there's a downside to sleeping so much. Ah. Except for this, but like we're getting experience from this, so hey, and some money. Let me check. Uh, 141. Takes a while to level up now, especially with those level one monsters. But well, okay, let's just keep exploring a bit. Um, okay, there's rats. We can just kill them in melee. Come on. Almost there. No. It might just spawn them in when you sleep. This might just be a chance thing. Come on. Mm -hmm. Also, this game has exactly no sound. Didn't remember that actually, but okay. All right, and uh, that is that. There can actually, I believe there can be a hidden door behind a door, so... Okay, but this looks like we've mostly done this level, so let's go down. Oh, right, this one, yes. Okay, what happens if I do light here? Ah, oh, yeah, okay, this actually lights a bit of that corridor. Okay. Okay, we have another stairs up. Are the levels consistent? Yeah, this is not an Angband thing. There's two zombies and two snakes there. Sorry, I'm gonna have to kill those. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right, sleep at a month. <sighs> Yeah, now we're gonna do that dance again. We could... you know what. Let's go up. It's gonna become more of a hassle. Alright, let's go down. Oh, fell into a pool of water. Did that do anything? It hurt a bit, huh? Let's go down. Didn't rust anything, I hope. Okay, spell book light. Right, 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 right. How can you can you actually read those? And put it on the belt. Maybe it's the verbs. Activate small iron shield, huh? Spell book. There is a way like it doesn't matter right now because uh 
we already have light. But, hmm. Barely missed by a dart. That was a trap, I believe. Okay. Ah. Copper and a potion. Uh, I forgot searching the walls here. Kind of want to do that. Okay. The other ones are probably not. Oh, we were hit by a dart, but didn't actually take any damage from it. Okay. Let's sleep until mana is restored. Ah, almost. Ah, here we go. So we have identify. We're going to get identify. You get the identify spell pretty soon in this. And how did we? Oops, no. We can name object spell identify. Is that not small iron shield? Okay, it's a normal. Ah, okay, we didn't know that it was normal, huh? Anything else? No, we don't have anything. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Heal minor wounds. Okay. We have that spell as well, so it's fine. Okay. Right. Now we basically have to identify everything that we found. Yeah. And we got access to level 2 spells, which is good. Might be a few pretty useful, for, useful ones there. We can still get level 1 spells. Oh, there's a ring, which we're going to identify. See, like, it's kind of weird. This is weirdly forgiving and lenient for a roguelike. Enchanted Ring of Strength. Increase the character strength. Yeah, uh, let's put that on for now. Yeah, we got a bit of strength here. All right. And there's the stairs down. Okay, there's probably gonna be a door somewhere. There's going to be more to this dungeon. Yeah, it does. However, I can't identify the wool cloak, but it might be that the wool cloak is not... Um... No, it can be enchanted, actually. I think the wool cloak can be enchanted. The cloaks, cloaks can be enchanted. I think in the shop earlier I saw a cloak of protection. So, no, I'm not sure how that works. We're going to see. Oh, here we go. Ooh, there's some stuff going on here. That's a wand, a scroll, spear, and a club. And a large snake. Here we go. Let me see. Wand, scroll, spear. I'm gonna do. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Ah, okay, that actually already. That already takes the mana. Okay, um, let's sleep until mana is restored. I don't want to be caught with my non-existing pants down, so to say. So this is a normal club. Wand of magic arrows with 12 charges, okay. Skull of detect monsters and a normal spear, okay. Probably don't need to carry that stuff around. Skull of detect monsters, that's kind of neat. Um, the thing is, I don't know It's kind of not easy. Oh, you see a monster. Is that a monster over there? Oh, that is a monster. It looks like a dungeon feature. Okay. Uh, a lot more bug. Oops, you see a monster. I don't see a monster. What the heck? Oh, there is a monster. Two of them, actually. But let's zap them from here. New boop. Okay. Sleep. Uh, okay. Let's hope we don't run out of. Hope we don't run out of juice. Because that would be a hassle. We do have a wand though, so that's what that is good for essentially. If we run into the problem where. There we go. All right. 
Got a bunch of copper. We fell into a pit. Cost me one health, but that's fine. Come on. Here we go. We have a bunch of pieces of copper. We can probably... Oops. The spear. It's another normal spear. At some point we might drop things, but for now we can just lug that around. It doesn't really matter. Come on. Here we go. Pieces of copper, let me see. We're using the spear right now. I don't know what's good or what's not good. There's not really any indication of how much damage that stuff does. Anything does, for that matter. Okay. Oh, falling rocks. Okay, we're gonna have to rest a bit. Keep zapping everything. Yep. Okay, the yeah, next level is going to take a while. Okay, that's a bunch of rusty stuff that I don't, that I'm not particularly interested in. Here we go. Ah. Nothing here. We're actually going for two days already. Two days of adventuring. Uh, suit of leather armor. Let me identify again. Let's see, that's an enchanted suit of leather armor. Increase it. So this is better. So let's just drop that. I'll put that on. More value of 20. This. Oh, there are 15, so the enchanted is actually much better. Okay, good. I'm not going to lug around the suit of armor. I believe they are extremely heavy and bulky, so... I don't think carrying... Carrying multiple suits of armor is actually all that great. Okay, let me see. I think it's time to go down, folks. I'm going to sleep some more. Dawn of the third day. I don't know. I don't think that's the case, but... I'm gonna see. Hey, with some braces, and there's a scything blade. Okay. Let's identify the braces. Normal braces, good. And a scroll, heal minor wood. We haven't found any cursed stuff yet. Where's my braces? There's my braces. Okay. Did that do? Yeah. Three more points of AV. Good. That a larger pack? No, it's a small pack as well. Can we identify that? Nope. We already have a small pack, so we don't need to worry about that. A book of spells. Okay, we don't know what that is, so how can I actually use it? I'll put it on the hand. We can't equip it. Activate? No, we can't activate it. How did I do this? Oh, we can actually disarm traps. I forgot about that. Okay. The question is... Spell book. Yeah, that doesn't work. It has to be something from here, but... We're in the hand. Can we... Ah! We have to equip it and then activate. So now we have clairvoyance. Uh, how does clairvoyance work? That's actually a three spell point spell. Another ant. Here we go. Let's just try it. Ah, clairvoyance works the same way as it does in case of cut. So let's sleep. Here we go. That did work. Hmm, Clairvoyance is actually kind of nice. I do dig that. Let's zap you. 
a scroll and some copper again. We have a bunch of copper now. How much do we have? 3,846. Let's identify the scroll. Summon monster. Yeah, we, you can only activate, so we can put something onto our belt, right, and activate that. That's interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put the wand here if we ever need it so we can activate it. You know? If we need to use something specific, we're just going to exchange that. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. Summon Snake. Indeed. And then we tread on it. Freeze no steppy. A potion and another potion. And a kobold. Oh. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Can we zap you from here? Yes, we we can actually. Here we go. And sleep. Oh no. Oh no. I hate when that happens, you know. Just falling asleep and then the skeleton is there. Okay, pieces of copper. Can we? Actually, let me see. Can we disarm this trap? <laughs> we have disarmed a pool of water. That's how you do it. Let me quickly rest until healed, which doesn't take as long. Um, yeah. Let's keep going. Fill it with rocks. Yeah. I guess that works. More pieces of copper. A medium wooden shield. Normal small shield. Uh, oh no, this is a small shield. This is a... Okay, I see. Normal medium wooden shield. The question is, so this is 23. Does this actually just... Oh, it's too heavy. For my small pack. Oh yeah, the pack is almost full. Oh. Huh. Okay, so this does not actually, this does not actually, it has a lot of bulk though. It's the same weight, but a lot more bulk. So this does not just add to AV, this is something different. Probably like a chance of something. Attributes. Okay, we have nothing. View icon. Okay. Question is... Yeah, there's no way to see what exactly those items do, except for the armor. Okay. A potion. Distillation of water. So this is this just distilled water? Draw of detect objects. Let's do that and see what it does. Does it just show me where objects are? Yeah, there's just one object, just a broken sword. Uh, great. Hello, Badger of Evil. Yeah, yeah, I know. But shields do not add armor value, that's what I mean. Right, like AV is the same whether we have it or not. So shields does, do not work via AV, but via uh, something else, right? Probably like a block chance or something. The game is pretty opaque about its mechanics, which makes sense, right? It's a roguelike. That's sort of part of the part of the thing. But yeah. Okay, let me see. Also, hey, Battle of Evil. How nice of you to come by. First time chat. Okay. Okay. Ah, we should probably sleep.
Could probably also go to town at some point. I'm not sure. Like, we're, we're doing fine. We're starting to carry a bunch of stuff, actually. So... Anything here? Nope. Nothing there. Also, hello, everybody. I'm Jay. Usually play roguelikes and old games. Today, I'm playing a an old roguelike, so... That's what we're doing here. So let's do the trap disarming. Here we go. Again, this is a, a strangely lenient roguelike, right? This does not enforce permadeath, so we can save and load, which I'm not doing right now. So I might not actually. Let me see. Oh, no. Or maybe it's just on... Oh yeah, right. Save as. Oop. Okay. This might have just crashed. This might have just crashed. I was just going to say that I'm not even going to try it. That I'm going to play with permadeath and I just try to show the saving and maybe I shouldn't have maybe I should not have done that because for some reason this crashed not just the game but in windows in its entirely in its entirety um, that's windows 3.11 for you yeah kind of right Although, like, I would maybe like to be able to uh, be able to sort of save and pick up later. Let me just quickly. Oh, this is uh, this is this is annoying. I don't like this. This is not fun. Let me load. Okay. Okay. So this is how we're gonna do it. Hmm. I'm going to check something out real quick. So, Castle of the Winds, here we go. Let me go into the, into the config real fast and let me see what I'm doing here. Okay, I see. Let me, let me change something. We don't need to go as fast with the cycles and we're gonna make that dynamic. So running Windows 3.11 in DOSBox can be kind of finicky because it expects some things. So let me see if that does anything. Nope. Okay, we might not be able to save. I think you can actually finish this in one setting, but oops, I think I've picked the second one now. Let me quickly check with that one. I mean, new game works. Okay, you can save. Okay, in Castle of the Winds 2 it works, which is good because that's a long one. Hey, fun. Load save. Yeah. The first one just shits the bed. Question is, why is that? Huh. Huh. Well. Folks, I guess we're gonna have to win Castle of the Winds 1 in one sitting. Fun! <laughs> I think it is possible, I believe. I believe I've done that before. Um, at least on intermediate. Uh, let's let's stick to that for the time being. We're going to do magic arrow. Yeah, I think the the first game is not long. Okay, let me see. Enchanted cape of protect. I think we want to buy that actually. So that's twenty six hundred. That doesn't take too long. 
Uh, oh well. We're just gonna count that as a death then. Just count that as a death. Should I make a death counter? Nah, that's fine. However, that's something. Have I actually... Yeah, that's that's on. Good. Alright. Ah, oh, that is annoying. That is annoying. This might have also been kind of one of the first sort of RPG-ish games that I've played. I mean, that's because, you know, this might be the reason why I like roguelikes that, this much. Because when I first started playing RPGs, I was like, hey, that's weird. Stuff isn't generated. And dying is not as bad. Okay, I don't know. It's fine. I like playing role-playing games as well. It's, it's fine. It is, in fact, fine. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah, so we're playing this with strictly enforced permadeath now. Like with not save possible permadeath. Okay, let's go down. Let's try this again. Okay, and we don't have identify yet. Yes, I need to keep that in mind. Scroll, scroll. There's no reason to check those out. We're just going to pick them up and continue. Potion and copper. Okay. Uh. Doors here. I don't know how in the dungeon creation. It, I think it might be possible that you have multiple doors on the same wall. I think this is not like a rogue where that is imp actually impossible. Also, disarm that trap, please. Okay. And here we go. And I think I've seen it that there's multiple doors behind each other. Also, hello, everybody. A bunch more folks in here. That's cool. Hi. I'm playing Castle of the Winds. It's an old roguelike. It's kind of fun. Kind of janky. And not like, not very tight mechanically, I think. But it is enjoyable. Okay. So, let's, let, let's go with heal minor wounds, still. Let's start with the basics. Didn't have to use it the last time, but it might... Yeah. Valhalla is more janky, that is true. However... Oops, I got teleported. Where am I? Okay. However, Valhalla is also a much deeper game, you know? I need to play Valhalla again at some point. Okay, we're just gonna put that stuff on. We don't have a way to identify yet, but it's fine. If it's cursed, we're cursed. Can just go to Odin's temple and remove a curse, I guess. It's exp- Ugh. Why are there so many teleporter traps? Jeepers. Okay. These are braces. Okay, just gonna put that stuff on. Quickly surge the end of this corridor, but doesn't seem to be anything here. Another teleport trap, crikey, okay. Let's disarm this, oh, we failed. Do this again, failed. Disarm that stupid trap, please, thank you. All right. Cobalt, bat. Okay, there's a bunch of things we still have to explore on this first map, which is okay. Are we already using a shield? Nope. 
Have you played a bunch of Valhalla, Sid? Like, I did that on, uh, on stream a few times, but then I didn't continue, which is not, I don't know. I've always wanted to kind of go back to that game. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now that I'm playing, I'm not playing Caves of Cut as much, I might do more of that kind of stuff. Disarm Trap. Okay. A scroll. Finding a lot of scrolls this time. Didn't have as many last time. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be a penalty for failing to disarm a trap. Like we're not springing the trap or anything. Oh, it's just a bunch of monsters here. Okay. Here we go. Kill you. Oh, we do not have enough mana. That's not good. That's actually extremely not good. Interesting that you can sacrifice health. It's interesting that you can sacrifice health to still cast a spell. That's neat. I actually do like that. However, we're not gonna... Let's climb up and let's sleep over here. Climb down. Let's go to the next floor. How are we doing in terms of a purse? I think we need 2600. We need an Atari amount of money to to buy that protection cloak. I want that. So we're just going to do that. So let's climb down. Oh, hey. I wonder why it costs so much health if you fall into a pool of water. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, you actually get experience for disarming. That's interesting. I didn't. I didn't notice that. Um, light didn't seem to be super useful. Detect objects and those. Phase door. Let's do phase door. Phase door might be good. So how does it work? Do you just randomly teleport? Yeah, it teleports you randomly. Um, you know, old roguelike rule: have some things that enable you to get out of a pickle even if it's random an old, old school role playing game called dungeon crawl classics you can sacrifice your stats to power up your spells huh dungeon crawl classics never heard of that before I know a few games that are called dungeon crawl Especially one game that's called Dungeon Crawl. We have, we have a bunch of stuff here. Let me... Normal leather boots. Ah, both are normal leather boots. Let's just put one of them on. Um, yeah, we still have room in our pack. It's fine. Okay. Dungeon Crawl Classics. Does it have anything to do with Crawl? Like the rogue? Oh, it's a tabletop game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not very I'm not very versed in tabletop role playing games. The only ones that I've played uh, I've I've played some amount of Shadowrun before, like the tabletop Shadowrun, and I've played some amount of um, German one called Das Schwarze Auge, which is. I think it's translated as The Dark Eye. Has some computer games as well. Oh dear, there's a big boy here. A rat man. Oh Jesus. 
This might be a problem, folks. Ah, here we go. All right. Huh. Okay. For some reason, this run seems to be more interesting than the last one. Okay. Yeah, DSA is kind of a kind of a big one here. So, das Schwarze Auge. So it it came at a time where D and D didn't really have a publisher yet in my country. So a lot of so and DSA it's different than D and D, but it, like it's kind of a D and D knockoff, right? But it's one of those cases where the knockoff became bigger than the original because it was there earlier. And we're fighting higher level enemies in this one. That's interesting. I don't think we've seen any red men or scorpions the last time. And see, there's another big boy here. What's that? Huge lizard. Crikey. I haven't really seen them before. It's quite interesting. Well, come on. I guess we're just going to do this again. Yeah, it does. Like, never really internationally. Although it does have kind of its own flavor, and it's a very... It's different than D&D, right? It has kind of a low fantasy thing, and it's also... Um, like, it has a different style of storytelling, in a way. Like, the storytelling of DSA is much more rigid than D&D, which is a lot looser. You know, you can basically set anything in D&D, while... Uh... Oh, teleport a trap. Another viper, we're poisoned again. Okay. But again, I, I haven't played much of it. I haven't played much of it. I've never had, like... A long, consistent role-playing group. Okay. No, always run ran into a sort of scheduling issues, and then it became weird. Come on. Okay. Finally. Let me see. Okay, let's go down there. We already have a helmet, don't we? Yes, we do. What's our AV? 15 at this point. Okay. Now the light spell would actually be kind of nice. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I should actually get that at some point. Okay, here we go. So, we're gonna get Identify now. Code Bolt, probably a stronger attack spell, might also be good. Levitation, I think that lets you get around traps. Um, detect trap. Ah, there's a few good ones here. Okay. Hit by falling rocks, crikey, okay. Um... can activate the shield, which is weird. I think that, oh, the, the rocks is just a once thing. I see. Don't fail to disarm, this just takes longer. Yeah, it is, it is. Come 
Here we go. Disarm the trap. I'm just doing that because you get the experience for that. Residential healed. Here we go. And let's go. Oh, fall into a pool of water. Let's disarm the pool of water. Here we go. All right, there's some more here. I think we're just going to explore the levels in their entirety. I don't think there's a reason not to do that. All right, it's just a broken coif or something like that. Disarm this. Oh, I need to actually identify a bunch of stuff. We might go upstairs for that. So that we can just sleep afterwards. And maybe, you know what? Maybe we go back to town. Let's go back to town. All right. That's just a corridor. Yes, it is. Oh, there's a big boy. What's that? A gray wolf. Oh, that was a lot of damage. E, that's a lot of damage. Bites me. Let me heal. Oh, that's not a lot. There we go. Oh. No, the rat man. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, we didn't have those enemies the last time. It's strange. And, okay. Where's the stairs up? Where do we have stairs? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Ooh. Hope we have enough mana. Should be okay. There we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> is it a potion? What is it? Okay, here we go. So, let's sleep. I don't think we can be surprised here. And uh, let's do some... Oh yeah, we have a lot of stuff. So, normal small wooden shield. This is also a normal small wooden shield. Potion of levitation. Scroll of detect monsters. Scroll of shield. Distillation of water. Scroll of Magic Arrow. Scroll of Rune of Return. Okay, that's going to be useful later. Detect objects. Detect traps. Okay. I think we can get Rune of Return as a normal spell at some point. We should probably do that. Um, normal Leather Boots. Okay, we might be able to sell something. I don't know if you can actually sell things. Now we're going to see. Let's go back to town real quick. First of all, let's sleep, and then go back to town. Here we go. Let me see. Oh yeah, those are the farms. Uh, I think this is the storage hut or something. I don't know. Wait. I can actually Snorri the Sage. Oh, that's junk store. Don't quite know how this works. Can we sell this? Oh yeah. We're getting some stuff for it. Distillation of water, 24. I don't know what distillation of water is for. Fuck it. Um, anything we don't need. Ah, we're gonna keep those actually. So let me see. Ah, we don't have that anymore. Uh, but I'm going to get that spell book actually. Yes. I'm going to get that spell book. All right. Do we get the gauntlets? We don't have any yet, so why not? Yep. Get those braces. We have braces already. And we could get like the flail or something like that. Oh, that's expensive. Might be good if it's expensive. Like how much do we have left? Oh, we have a lot. Yeah. Let's take that. Sometimes, you know, the, the the asking price tells you a bunch about 
What's good? So let's learn light. So now we actually do know that spell. Nice. Um, I don't know what this does if we use it here. Rune of Return. This is weird. I thought Rune of Return is kind of a town portal thing. But it wouldn't make any sense to just activate that here. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe it takes you back again? But how does it know? <laughs> how does it know where to take me back? Well, I have no idea. Okay. That was nice. Let's keep going. Let's actually try and finish this game. All right, there's a bunch of folks here. I don't like that. Yeah, we should probably get a better attack spell at some point. Here we go. All right, sleep. Oh, yeah, well, here we go. Just to be able to dispatch enemies quicker. And the magic arrow is nice, but... Oh, come on. Come on. We're using up more mana than we are regenerating, which isn't great. Oh, well. Just hope to get one lucky sleep. And we're getting experience for this, so that's it's kind of okay. Here we go. All right. Like a portal scroll. In, yeah. But you activate... Uh, it's, it's weird. You, oh, studded leather. This might be better. Normal suit of studded leather armor. Uh, how much do we have? 20? 26, that's good. All right. Quickly check the walls. Always check the walls. Not always, but okay. It doesn't seem to be anything here. And let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Okay, rusted gauntlets. Any doors here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's a door there. Oh, fantastic. Great. Incredible. Incredible secret that we found there. Okay. Oh, teleporter trap. Um, where are we? Down here, okay. Oh, oh, something shot me. A bandit. It's a bandit. Oh, there's that bandit. Well. Let's see who shoots better. Can't shoot anymore, apparently. The bandit is dead, okay. Okay, good. We're back in business. All right. Is there a way to... I mean, I could do Alt S0. Well, that's not much quicker than to click on here. Especially because I need to use the mouse anyways. I wish that was like a hotkey for a spell. Okay. Ooh. 
who I'm not a fan of this. Come on, kill that thing. Whew. Start by resting and now sleeping. Okay. Let's see. All right. All right. Ah, another teleport spell. Okay, let's do light here and let's see what it does. Yay, it works. There's a cloak. Let's identify the cloak. Enchanted cape of protection. Brilliant. So we have 26. And now we have 31. A nice one. Okay. Yep. Interesting in that searching does not seem to pass one turn, but more. More than that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there a way to pass one turn? Doesn't seem to be. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do the mana dance again. How are you doing in terms of experience? Okay, that should be soon. <sighs> Fucking walking corpses. They take a lot of hits, but they're not dangerous. Just a mana drain? Come on, man. Okay. All right, okay. Let's see, where am I? Over here. Um, okay, there's a teleport trap up there, teleport trap there. And a bunch of stuff to explore here, okay. Mm. The pit. All right. Mm. Okay, let's see. Wild dog. I don't like those things. Okay. Uh. The mana dance is, is a bit tedious, I must say. Again, you do get experience points from that. But, you know, you just do this a lot. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's see. Hey, another scroll. We're gonna identify hey, another potion. We're gonna identify a bunch of things soon. Oh yeah, there's some more stuff here. Ah, here we go. Neutralized poison is nice. You know what? I'm going to get cold bolt as a better attack skill. How much does it cost? It costs two, all right. I hope that is better, actually. If not, okay, there's a two slot belt. Oh, that's nice. So we can put like, how does that work? How do you put things onto your belt? Can we open this inventory? Yes, we can. Ah, I see. So we can put this here and... And this, and now we have that in activate. Okay. Ah, that's cool. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Detect traps. Ugh, another teleport. Are you kidding me? All right. Let me see. All right, there's some more stuff here. Book of spells. Okay, this is one that we don't know yet, so... Did 
Protect monsters. Okay. You know what? Then let's just get rid of those. Okay. Do we need to explore the rest here? Probably not. I don't know. We, should, we could just go to some stairs. And the stairs are down there. Okay, there's a few more things we can explore once we go to, once we go there, that are nearby. But otherwise, fuck it. Um, and disarm trap. Does this work? Disarm is D. Okay, good. Yeah, that goes a lot quicker. Okay. All right. Nothing here. Let's quickly go there where the teleport trap was. Oops, no. Magic spell. Oh. It does do apparently more damage, but not as much as I would have wanted. Now we're gonna see. Oh yeah, that goes a lot quicker. Um, M is sleep. No. Large. No. Doesn't work like that. Interesting. Okay. And here I thought. Anything here? No, there's nothing here. Okay. Let's just go to the stairs down. And be done with it. Here we go. What is this? Medium pack. Oh. I like that. So we have a medium pack in the small pack now. Oh no, this is the small pack. Do we now need to put everything manually into the medium pack? It appears that we do. Uh, I mean, it makes sense, but... Whew, all right. So let's close that. And let's open the medium pack. That's Windows for you. All right, what kind of braces are those? Oh, we have a bunch of scrolls and potions. Hey, scroll of identify. Oh, nice. We don't need the elixir of minor he heal minor wounds. We're going to keep that. Enchanted braces of defense. Oh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so let's put that on. Here we go. I'm going to take a quick break. I have to go to the restroom, and uh, I'm going to be back in a second.
All right, okay. Let's continue a bit more. Mm. I'm beginning to fear that I might not be able to finish this and that I'm not going to be able to save. That's going to be an issue. I don't feel like this is much better, actually. Hmm. And it does cost a lot of mana. I can... Hmm. Maybe like that, you know? That might be the most efficient method, actually, to have one of these. I think we need three magic bolts for the for the vipers. So I mean, it's not the most efficient. It just costs the same amount, but it's it's like one less turn. No, that's no, that's not good. That's not great. Come on. Come on. All right. Good, and that this doesn't take forever. And using like the cold bolts. Okay, here we go. Hit by dots and two potions that we can identify. I think these are ones that we haven't found yet, right? Draught of detect monsters. It's also kind of interesting that potions and scrolls are exactly the same. They just do. I'm not sure what the difference between reading a scroll. Like, they have the same thing, right? They're just doing spells. But... I don't know. This is a weird game, folks. This is a strange game. Let's disarm this. Here we go. It's fine. I like it. But... Now, there's maybe a reason why this never became a major roguelike, apart from the fact that it was commercial, you know? Okay. Here we go. I hate those walking corpses. Oh, the rat man. I wonder if the code bolt is actually useful. It might not be. It might just not be useful. It doesn't do that much more. Okay, well. Yeah. It costs twice the mana. Okay. Okay, that's three. Ah, well, oh, a bunch of kobolds here. Zap. How am I doing? Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of XP for the next level. Leveling does slow down quite a bit at this point. Makes sense. Why are there so many kobolds here? What the heck? All right. What is that? Is that a bed? Oh yeah, straw mattress. The dungeon floor. Oh no, a scrap of parchment. A few minor wounds. Um, let's read that. Examine the scrap of paper carefully, which turns out to be part of a message in strange blood red script. The top part is missing, but you can make out the following. Is dead. Return to the fortress north of Bjarnar Haven and await my orders. I repeat, stop at nothing to ensure this danger is removed. It's signed as at the bottom with a single ornate S, with flames entwining the letter. Is it a cool S? It's a cool S, isn't it? This is definitely a cool S. At the bottom? This is canon. Um, you hurriedly grow hot in your hands. You hurriedly drop, uh, drop it as the paper bursts into flames. And you... 
watch in shock as the ashes fall to the ground. Your stomach feels a bit queasy with worry, and you think maybe you should head back to the hamlet. Yeah, of course. It's definitely a cool ass. Everybody has drawn that on on their notebooks or whatever. Oh, a giant trapdoor spider, Jeebus. Here we go. All right. Is this already the end? I'm not sure. We must return to the hamlet, it said. Um, this might actually be it for this one. We're gonna see. Oh, I think I know what what happens. I think I remember what happens here. A scroll. Oops. Blank scroll. Nice. Okay. I think I know what happens. Yeah, this is really short. Like the Castle of the Winds one is short. Just four levels? I remembered like ten, but that might just be me being wrong. Hey, so we might actually finish this. Um... All right. The most ornate of S's, right? And with flames around it. Like, they were Ed Hardying up the cool S. That's cool. It's the coolest S. Okay. Um, you know what? Since we can do it, we might as well. Come on, folks. Oops. Sleep until mana is restored. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, let's light it up. Yes, indeed. The light spell is pretty useful. Okay, Goblin Fighter is dead. Good. Kill the Skellington. Scroll, a potion. Identify those. Neutralize poison. Yeah. Scroll of Levitation. No. Oh. <laughs> Another one of these. Disarm. Come on. And. And there we go. Sleep until mana is restored. Oh man. Okay. Let's get that. Neutralize poison. Explodes in midair. Why? Okay, we're almost done here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any stairs down here. I think that's that. Oh god, another one. Um, okay, there's another one we can identify. Heal medium wounds, okay. Are we doing... Character level 5, okay. Sleep, does it work? Yes, it does work. Good. Okay, so that's that. And I think this will probably just loop around again. And there's another room. What do we have here? A bunch of copper.
Yeah. And that's that. Okay, now we need to go back. Oh, that's some... Yeah, let's explore the entirety of this. Why not? Oh, <laughs> and that's just a door here. Okay. So, map, where are we? Where's the stairs up? Where's the stairs up? Down there. Okay. Ooh. No. <sighs> Cost me all my mana. <laughs> okay. Sleep. No. Sleep. No. Sleep. There we go. Bunch of copper. Let's go up. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on here? Okay. I mean, I could walk back, but I'm going to do this the old fashioned way. There we go. Uh, over there, okay. Do you think we're gonna need another sleep, unfortunately? Ah, uh, come on. Actually ran out of mana completely. Yeah. I mean, at least I can kill those things in melee. I think the easy enemies are <clears throat> not that much of a problem. Okay. Those guys, however, we should magic them. Here we go. Who the fuck are you? Huge ogre. That's not good. I should maybe try to fight that, but... What if I didn't? <laughs> what if I just didn't? Okay. Alright. Let's go up. Here we go. Let's go back to the hamlet. You're almost home. Ahead of you, the path winds another half mile around the hills north of the hamlet. Your pack rests heavily on your shoulders, shifting slightly with each step you take. The enigmas of the mind still nag at you. Why were those fell creatures encamped therein? That's a sentence. <laughs> From where did they come? And what was the meaning of the scrap of parchment you recovered at the bottom? As you round the last hill, a sharp smoky smell fills your nostrils. Burning thatch? Hastily, you drop, you drop your pack and jog to the wrecked gate. Heavy smoke hangs in the air. Charred timbers still smolder from the ruins of houses. The air lies eerily quiet, missing the babble of a living hamlet, the cries of children, the cackle of poultry. A wrecked wagon lies, overturned in the middle of the road. Two vultures start at your intrusion and flap away heavily. Now yeah, they're laying it on thick, folks. With horror, you suddenly understand a part of the message fragment you found in the mine. Is dead. Return to the fortress north of Bjarna Haven and wait my orders. Stop at nothing to ensure that this danger is removed. This was no random act of destruction, and neither was the burning of your farm. Somebody ordered this, somebody who saw danger in this humble hamlet, or in its inhabitants. 
Shocked, you realize that the savage act must be an must have been aimed at you. None of these villagers had traveled more than a league from home in their entire lives. You were not born here, but far away. You lost your godparents in a similar horrific act of arson. You must be the danger. You wonder again at your unknown past, which again has proven deadly to those you loved. And you swear once again to an exact vengeance against those responsible. Once more you ponder the scrap of parchment. The town of Bjarna Haven lies but a day's journey down the ha highway to the west. Perhaps you should exercise your growing skills against this fortress. You kick aside a piece of broken gate, then, remembering your drop pack, head back up to the path to recover it. Bjarna Haven awaits you. So yeah, there's the town. It's been destroyed by the spray bottle tool in Windows Paintbrush. Okay, there's the farm. We say goodbye one last time. What happens if we would try to go east? You look at the highway vanishing in the distance and feel no need to continue. Okay, now let's go west. You journey along the highway for a full day and reach the village of Bjarna Haven. Oh, we're actually here now. Does this... I thought this was Castle of the Winds too. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. Okay, well... First Bank of Crossroads branch office. Temple of Odin. So we have all this. Deposit your money in the bank. Yes. Letter of credit for the town shops. This might be a thing where we need to do a save and continue in two, which might pose a problem. We're going to see. If yes, we're going to have to do something about that. Magic shop. F sword and scabbard. Armor shop. Outfitters. There's a lot more shops here. Um, Snorri the Sage. Junk store. So we have everything here. And this goes to... Oops. Falling rocks. Jesus Christ. Um, no. This actually starts, huh? Problem is... I'm going to have to stop soon. So... Ah, that's unfortunate. However... Um, however... I'm not going to do that now. Okay, so we have nothing in the purse. But we still have the money, apparently. How does the credit work? Oh, the copper. We do, we do have the copper, but we don't have it in the purse. Okay, I think this is how the game starts properly. Problem is, I... Uh, <laughs> anything I can do to salvage this. There isn't really. Save. Nope. And it's dead. That's it. Okay, I'm probably going to do this on my own again. And I'm gonna have to try to figure this out somehow. Um, let me just quickly do one thing before we end. I want to check out... I didn't remember Bjarna Haven being a feature in the first one as well. So how does Castle of the Winds 2 work? Yeah. Okay, so this starts a new character, obviously. Um, magic arrow. Oh yeah, we get a bunch of stuff at the start. Take light, heal minor wounds. We should probably have taken phase door. Identify. Ah, let's do cold bolt, whatever. Hmm. Fire bolt, lightning bolt. Remove curse. Teleport, Rune of Return. So let's get Rune of Return. Let's get Firebolt. Here we go. 
Ah, okay. And this is the next one. This is the keep. The gate is closed. Okay. So there's some more some more stuff to do in Castle of the Winds 1, uh, which we're going to do next time. I don't have my save anymore because it sucks. It doesn't work. I need to actually figure this out to be able to save Castle of the Winds 1. Okay, so this was sort of the a preliminary thing. Um, we're going to go back to Castle of the Winds, both the first one and also Castle of the Winds 2. Um, but uh, that's that for the time being. That is Windows 3.1 and Castle of the Winds, by, uh, published by Epic Mega Games. Yeah, this is the predecessor to Fortnite. Thanks for watching, everybody, and see you again next time. Cool. Bye.